I'm like, no, we're not doing that. Hello guys, welcome or welcome back. So I've been trying to film this video for the longest and it's just simple. It's things that have been on my mind and I just could not seem to get it out. The last, I wanna say two weeks were very much a roller coaster and I was like, I need to get on here. I need to get on here. I need to share this because one thing I said is I was not going to hold um, information or things that I felt like the Lord was pressing on me. I was not going to hold it instead of posting it. And so I have been trying my hardest. I even had notes in my phone. And so I was like, we're going to get this message out because we need to get some things together before 2025. So if you have been following, you know, I'm on a transformation journey. Um, I'm having a series here on my channel that I am titling the transformation diaries. I have like an intro video, just kind of explaining where I'm at in life and why now why I want to do this and so I was writing and I was just thinking and like I said these two weeks have been rough but the week prior to you know I was really just mentally drained and I had already felt myself like curling back into that ball and just saying you know forget trying to make a change like this is just what it is and I'm like no we're not doing that and so to prepare for 2025 I want to start now doing micro things like little things that can really just set us up for success so if you follow my consistency journey you know I spent a year of trying to build systems and really be consistent and I started that journey prior to 2024 so in October I had made a declaration and from October to December, I really worked on building a routine, a system, a schedule that really worked for me. I work at the Kings. And by the time January hit, it wasn't a matter of if I was going to stick with it because I had already planned and perfected that. And it was just like carrying it on. So it takes 30 days to build new habits and routines. And we have the privilege of having 60 days. And so in the 60 days, the one thing that I wanna focus on, and it may only take 30 days, is our mindset. Because I noticed that I can say I wanna do something, I can make a plan, but if in my mind I'm still defeated, I get nowhere. And so that is something that I was having to look at and tackle and really just think about. So we're going to attack our mindset and get our minds right so that everything else we put into place will be perfected. The unofficial title of this, the thing that I wrote down was like the battle is in our mind, right? Because the other day I was just um, going through my day and all of a sudden a thought came to me and I was like, you're never gonna be that girl again. Like, I don't know why you're trying. Like, you're always gonna have this extra weight. Like, you're... And then things just started going in my mind. I'm like, girl, what is wrong with you? And like, I could just feel myself as those thoughts were playing in my head, all the negative thoughts, I could just feel myself retreating. I could feel myself being lazy and not wanting to get off the couch. And it was just like a ripple effect. So since the battle is in my mind, in our mind, we have to attack it at the source. So I started thinking to myself, I'm like, why? Why do I go to that negative place and when does it happen? Because it's not like I live there. I don't live in these negative thoughts. There are days that I have like wonderful days and I feel like I can just do it all and conquer the world. And then there's days where I just spiral. And the, the why behind that is because I might be tired. Somebody probably said something. I'm feeling like I'm being overlooked. Those are those, those triggers that trigger those negative thoughts. And so I'm all about simplicity, right? So the things that I did was I started writing down or note taking um, the things that were my triggers. And so for me, the things that I identified as my triggers to where I get off track are when I'm sleep deprived, when I am tired and trained and I just try to keep going, that is when I notice like my mood shifts and I'm like, well, I'm just not good enough. I can't do it. And so that was one of them. The other one is when I am feeling like I am being taken advantage of when I am verbalizing and saying, I don't want to do this. I'm tired and I'm letting someone know 
and they're in an authority figure over me and it's basically like they're saying I'm not really caring what you're feeling like I'm caring about what needs to get done or I'm caring about what you can do for me and it's not always an authority figure just someone in your life that you would think would have the respect and decency to hear your words and say I hear you okay it's fine you know what I mean so that those are the two main triggers like when I feel like I'm not being heard and when I'm tired. And so I was like, how do I avoid that, right? And it's simple, you would think it's simple, right? Get rest, but I can't always get rest. So then I started looking at those times where I start getting tired and what I can do. And so one, you need to identify your triggers and two, you need to find ways to combat it. An example of this is like, when I get tired midweek, I don't want to take care of myself. I don't want to do my hair because these are all things that are tedious processes, right? So I have a playlist of my favorite natural hair gurus. And when I am tired and I just don't feel like it, I play their videos while I'm doing my hair to encourage myself like, girl, you want that? You want your hair grown out? You want your hair to be healthy? This is what we got to do. So we have to identify our triggers and do the work to combat the problem. Have positive affirmations. Follow people that bring you light and positivity. Follow those people who you aspire to be or someone who has a life similar to what you want or are doing the things you want to do. And sometimes it seems so simple, right? Identify your triggers and have a plan to combat them. But it's hard. It's hard to rewire and rework yourself to get out of that negative thought when you just go down the rabbit hole and you're like, well, I'm just not good enough. No, it's hard to stop yourself in those tracks and be like, but we are good enough and here's what we're going to do to get us out of this place. I don't know when I was driving and just thinking about this, it makes so much sense in my head and I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then when I tried it, I was like, but why is this so hard? And it's literally because we have to rewire our brains. We have been doing the same thing for so long. And like I said, it takes 30 days to build a new habit. Can you imagine how long it takes to get out of a bad habit? And so over the next 30 to 60 days, the one thing I want to work on in this transformation series is my mind. And that's what I'm challenging you all to do too, because the thing about it is we start the new year or we start before the new year and say we're going to do X, Y, and Z. But if we have not purposed in our mind to change our mindset, to have a plan to where when we start to fall off, we get back on track, we are never going to see change. And the change you want to see on the outside starts on the inside and the, the inside work is what I've been doing. I've been really confronting like um, just things about myself, my negative habits, my negative um, thought processes, the things that just are not helping me move forward. Those are the things that I've really been working on. Even like how I present myself to people, the things that come out of my mouth, like I that it has taken me a long time to work on those things. And so I'm now working on my mindset so that when I do start working out again, and when I do start trying to really just transform my outer appearance and the things connected to me, that I'm not going to be tripped up and hung up by my mindset. So yeah, I wanted to keep it simple. I really just want, like I'm, I'm about simplicity because sometimes I'll listen to somebody and they'll have so many great things and I'm like trying to write them all down and trying to remember everything. And, and sometimes it's just as simple as the one and two steps identify the things that are triggering you and have a plan to combat those triggers so now um, when i start feeling myself get tired i accept help y'all before i wouldn't let anybody watch my son i didn't want him out of my sight if somebody watched him i'm like okay i'm gonna be there with you while you watch him and make sure you watch him correctly like even even with my mom i would call my mom like let me see what he's doing facetime me and like they were literally like cutting me off and like no you may not see him like absolutely not and so i had to like let go so this week today is saturday i would normally be cleaning my house like there's laundry that needs to be folded and me and my son went to target and just had a day and i just went grocery shopping and did simple things that brought me pleasure and just rested myself so i don't get triggered and feel like well i've gotten behind and now i don't have time to do a b no this morning i took time I did my little self-care routine. I did my hair. You know, I had a slow morning, which is something I do not do. But it's something I needed because if I didn't, then I would be stressed. Cause I'm like, well, my hair isn't done and I have to be here and I have to do. 
And so just identifying and combating those triggers, having a plan, it's so key. It sounds so simple, but it's so key. So yeah, that's what I want to leave with you on this like first episode, I guess, of the Transformation Diaries. I'm, I keep saying this, but I am so looking forward to this. I feel like I'm lighter, especially in sharing this journey um, and holding myself accountable. I just feel lighter even when I go to those moments where I feel defeated even in that, I like quickly snap out of it and I, I love, so I absolutely, absolutely love watching Shayna Cole and Jazz Turner because they just bring me so much energy, so much joy, so much light. Like I aspire to be them, but like the, the full on stay at home mommy version of them, like fancy mommy style. <laughs> and Shayna Cole is fancy mommy, like she is fancy mommy vibes, but she lived in that soft life that I aspire to live that I don't think I'm going to necessarily live just because I've been single for a long time and when you are single for a while you just kind of you kind of get used to being self-sufficient and so it's gonna take it's gonna take a lot to like break me out of that um but some of the things that they do I'm like yes you are motivating me to take care of my skin take care of my my body and just pour into me and so find somebody that that inspires you like that at any time you feel yourself going to that place, watch them, listen to a podcast, have affirmations around, do what you need to do to take care of you. Because if you don't work on that inside, you're never going to see the results on the outside. So yeah, that's our homework for this week, for the next few weeks. And I am going to keep coming back and posting more content in this Transformation Diaries. Just sharing this journey with y'all, the highs, the lows. I, I can't wait, y'all. I, I just, I can't wait. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.